Welcome back, welcome back. It's Lee from the Anonymous Show, starring Lee on The Great FM. Tonight it is Wednesday, and we're interviewing Troy Brooks, an actor who currently has a movie on Tubi called Love and Reality. Go ahead and introduce yourself today, Troy. Yo, 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 Troy Brooks, you know what I'm saying? We here, appreciate y'all. DJ Lucky, Miss Anonymous Lee, appreciate you. Happy to be here. Yes, and we also have his friend who's an artist. What's your name again? Big Flex. Flex! J Flex. Where can Big, you guys... Big Flex, Big Flex. D Big Flex? From my penny. Oh, Big Y'all say you should be chatting. Big Flex. Big, <laughs> Big Flex. Flex, where can we find you guys on, on social media, on Instagram? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Mr. Underscore Brook 7. And J, you Big Flex? Oh, Flex and Ralph, like the movie. Flex and Ralph. Flex it, Ralph. Oh, Flex it, Ralph. Okay. Wreck -It Ralph. Like Wreck it, Ralph. Yes, Flex I like Ralph. that. Movie. Like Flex it, that's that's original. Yeah. I like that. I like that. All right. Well, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump into our interview. As you guys can tell, we've already been laughing before the camera started rolling. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and jump in. So, first off, I asked him where he was from, and immediately he's like HML. I did not know you guys abbreviated your cities. Um, but it was, can you say it one more time? Nah, see, the school is called HML, like Highly Amani Lake. Oh, the school, okay, the school. Yeah, yeah the Trojans, you know what I'm saying? Like, never heard, heard no it. HML. Oh, see, shout oh out to God. HML, shout out to all my <laughs> Trojans, alumni, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, shout out to all the Trojans, definitely. Um, is, is that the only high school you went to? Yeah. Really? Is that where you started? Well, confession, confession. Not okay. a lot of people know this, you know. I know I speak proper and all that, but my first stint in high school was actually at MacArthur. If anybody knows anything MacArthur. about MacArthur, yeah, I had to go to opportunity school for a little bit. I was a little wild. You know, I had, in middle school, I actually got exiled in eighth grade. Oh, this is good. Well, hold on. Oh, One yeah. second. <laughs> One second. Yeah, this is good. Okay, let me back up. Hold on. Back the camera up. Okay, so. <clears throat> all right. Middle school, yeah. you had issues, I behavioral had issues. issues. I had some issues, yeah. I'm not going to say that you were bad, but you had behavioral issues, which landed you at MacArthur? No, Jan Man. W say that again? Jan Man. Jan Man. She's from Broward, everybody. everybody yeah, I'm from Broward, so I wouldn't know. Day, you know. So what Jan saying? Man you know is like what, a juvenile center? What is that? Slash school. Okay. You don't really want to be there. I didn't want to be there. It was a, it was a pretty... Uh, perplexed experience for me i say right you know what i'm saying i mean listen to how i sound then you know take me to jam man it's kind of i had some issues <laughs> i had some issues that's for sure you had some issues i had some issues you were too proper i run into those issues as well growing up it is definitely something because you don't really fit in with the people that are like really ghetto and then you try to find yourself talking like the ghetto people and it's like but they can spot that shit from a what? mile away. They be like, You've man, never hold had on. a rough you know day what? in your Get life. Him. I want him right there. We want him. Yes, yes. But it just sounds like we've never had rough days in our life. But I think we just practice speaking proper. That's I mean, what I think it is. I mean, on my mom's side, mm -hmm. you heard my mom, you'd be like, you know, and as we get into the interview, you'll see how that benefited me, you know, along the way, especially after high school and stuff like that. Right. But I come from like a, a dual a dual world from my, you know, from my uh, father's side, up in, from Cincinnati, Ohio, originally. Okay. I was born there, and then I, w I moved to uh, Miami about 2000. I was probably like 10, 11 years old. Mm -hmm. So I started my Miami stint. I was officially a Floridian, like, mm -hmm. in 2000, 2001. Right. So on my dad's side of the family, you know, they all with the shits or whatever. So I'm always <laughs> an oddball when I go up there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. You know, I come down here, and it's just like, you got to start all over. And where are you from? You right. Know? Cincinnati. <laughs> oh, you know? Yeah, so it's like you didn't fit in anywhere, right? No, nah, not for real. That's But but you found yourself. It looks like you found yourself. Like, absolutely. you found a medium. Oh, absolutely. They love you now. You got to love right. you. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I mean, it's going to take you far, trust me, because there's not a lot of people right now that are speaking proper English. Um, as you can tell, as you can see, there's a lot of people that have dialect problems. Or just being their individual, authentic self. You think so? I think some people are trying to dumb themselves down to get attention. 
You know what? I'll say I've done that, but not to get attention. But in the dating aspect, in the dating world, listen, there's been so many times, you know, you see, you know, a shorty that I know normally, I, easy, done. But sometimes as soon as you say something, they just be thrown off like, eh, you know, so sometimes I got to act like really I don't know shit, or I just don't be <laughs> and, it, and, it, and not time, sometimes it'll get me further. It's like, okay, right. that's cool. That's in my area. That's in my lane, you know? So but, you mean like it, like it, like you say something to them and it's like over the top, like it's too complex for them? Or do you mean like they, they think that you should be a little dumber, like you should? I just feel like sometimes, and this is something I have to work on, is being relatable. Yeah. You know, just to find that common ground because sometimes you could be your authentic self, but it could be too much. For you know, other people, and if yeah. you know, there's um, less is more. Definitely. You know, so there's there's a lot of us, but not a lot of people are exposed to people that you know are their authentic right. selves or can you know uh, enunciate whatever you want to call it. Right, right. Well, I know, like for me, my mom made sure she like literally beat the hell out of me every single day. Like if I tried to come home. And, like, there was a new word that my friends had at school that, you know, you try it out on your parents and shit. She slapped the shit out of me, like, literally, like, every single time. Don't I don't follower. care about your friends. Like, she's like, I don't care. I don't care about your friends. Mm -hmm. You're not going to say it. Like so it's like, is. you just get in the habit. But I used to hate her for it. Like, mm -hmm. literally hate her. Like, I, I was like, everybody else can say what they want to say and speak, you know, Ebonics and, you know, but. <laughs> Ebonics. It, it, yes. It was bad. But yeah, but I now today I, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? It's like she beat it into me to understand that you know what? Now you're gonna hate me for it, but later on it's gonna be useful. You exactly. know? Exactly. So exactly. I, right. So beat your kids today, <laughs> you guys. I'm wow. not saying beat them. Beat your kids today. But beat them today because in the future, you know what I'm saying? It, beat them today the for a better tomorrow. Right. That that part. There it pays go. off. Okay. No child abuse. Early whoopings, man. Early, yes. Very Early whoopings, and then you can talk to them when they get at a, re a decent age. Like, be I'm not saying beat them, you know, horribly, but you know, a little slap here and there, or whatever. But just enforce it when they're young, so that you're not trying to kill them when they're like 10 years old, because it's too late by then. You know what I'm saying? By then, I was just talking to my kids because I scared the hell out of them, like when they were like real early. Like, right, right, right. I scared the hell out of them. Trust you me. Gotta get them every, young. every chance. I'm crazy. But, <laughs> yes. So by five, they were like, they good. They understand what time it is. So I don't have to do like my friends always say. I don't have to do half the stuff that other people do. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate. Yeah. That. Do you have any kids? No. Okay. Well, let me ask you a question now. Do Do you have any kids? No, no kids. Okay. Hold off as long as you can, okay? Because taxes are going up groceries are not getting any cheaper i don't know how people are feeding themselves right now um it, how's your grocery bill going <sighs> groceries listen it might you might have to go and stop out get a little but i do my little grocery shop i get my salmon here and a little eight ounce six ounce you know, <laughs> Publix. So shout out the to Publix for a little, si little 7.99 couple <laughs> ounces fillets you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know something light but you're right it is crazy um I was all, it's crazy because all of my younger siblings, um, which I say like a few years younger than me, they all got kids already. You know, right. I'm like the oldest now. I had an older brother, but he passed, rest in peace, or Renzo. But um, yeah, I don't have any kids. And every now and then I get baby fever. You know, yeah. I'd be, I be thinking about something like, ah, you know, but then again, I'm like, ah, it's cool just worrying about yourself. You know what I'm saying? And just focusing for now. So when it happens, it'll happen. Right, right. And so, I mean, honestly, at this time, I say plan for it. Like, because before people weren't planning. Like, when I had my kids, my, my oldest is 20 now, and my youngest is 13. Wasn't nobody planning back then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. now in 2023, like, now that you know that it, it costs $500 per mouth to she, feed. She got it down to a sign. She said, <laughs> Yo, no. Light bill is like $58 per person in the house. Like, mm, per person. Per day. Because my light bill will be like four hundred, five hundred dollars. I don't know. All of us, it's, I think they just throw numbers out. Like I don't even think they read the meters anymore. Right. Like right. I, I see my meter guy. I just saw him like a couple days ago. He like flashed this thing over the meter. I thought they open it to pull, you know, to read the meter. He didn't even do nothing. He just flashed this thing and he goes back, right in shit, gets in the car. Just making up shit. Just making up shit. Yeah, at this point, because I know you gotta open that shit to read it. No, but absolutely. Yeah, they're they're just making up shit at this point, and I, I get it, because you know who can contest FPL. 
Who, you can't. They got the game in a chokehold. What? I think it's business like FPNL where you just got to pay now or I'm shutting shit shut, off. Shut, I'm shutting shit off. There's no dispute. Like, how can you dispute that you didn't use power on, on February 17th? And how, how do you dispute how much power you use? That's no true. one knows how much power they really use. We just have to take the numbers yeah. that these people have on the bills. And we just have to run with it. You can just pay the shit because we don't have no way to contest it. We can't dispute it. I used to have an aunt. You know, when I would be in Cincinnati, I would go there, like, on the summertime, you know? Like, as soon as school was out, I was, like, trade from boys in the hood. You about to go with your daddy, you know what I'm saying? You about to go back and see, you know what I'm saying? He could raise man. But I used to go up there, and I used to have an aunt, my aunt Bobby. She would, if she caught your charger in the wall, and you wasn't charging your phone, <laughs> that's confiscated. What? I promise you, it was gone. Wait, if, if the play, charger, if the it's charger, plugged up. Like, your charger's plugged up, and you ain't charging your phone, or something plugged up, and you ain't charging it? You come back to the room, she, yeah, I got your charger. I, I ain't gonna lie. At, at one point, I thought, like, FPL had me fooled. They told me, they were like, yeah, your fridge being plugged in, your washing machine, your dryer. <laughs> they told me all this shit was plugged in. They're like, that's draining you. That's costing you, like, $13 a day just being plugged in. You're not even using it. Yeah, so my out. dumb ass, every day I'm unplugging every goddamn appliance every single day when I'm leaving the house. No, going bad. Hey. <laughs> 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 Listen, I'm stupid. I'm talking about every appliance. I'm re and every time some some of those things they reset every time you gotta go reset it back every time you plug it in and shit. So it's like it, it just it, and I didn't save no money. I probably saved like two dollars. It probably and, charged you more right, for hooking the shit bro, back up. Probably charged me more to to use more current to plug it back in every day. And this is a this is like an everyday thing for me. So it's like I think FPL is a scam. Oh, absolutely. I just, I just wanted to put that absolutely. out there, you guys. That this living nowadays is a scam. Like, you get charged just to live on land. Like, right. you came up with the shit. Like, yo. You can't walk out your house without $200 a day. That's like, facts. if you don't have $200 a day, stay your stay ass home. And then it costs that to stay home because you need AC in your house. AC, And Netflix, food. If you stay home, you got to have food. Then you got to have your Netflix. You got to have your movies. But then guess what? You're not getting paid because you... You're not working. So it's, you a gotta, it's, it's a scam. It's a scam. scam. You got to leave the house to work to make the money. It's a scam. Yeah, I, I just think it sucks. Like, I think it's not fair. I don't I'm think it's you. fair. I'm with you on that. Yeah, I, I'm glad that we can see eye to eye on some things. I know we met the first time at um, the Love and Reality, right? At the, the movie premiere? Yes. Yes, that was the very first time we met. What was the young man who was with you? What was his name? Anro? Yes. That's my dog. Shout out yes. to Anro Rollins. Yes. Um, another actor I've been riding with for a minute, you know, he actually introduced me to one of my uh, best friends now that's actually a director that directed most of our plays mm -hmm. at the uh, Miramar Cultural Arts Center. Okay. And, you know, when I say we had the city on fire, I mean on fire. Really? You know, yeah, no, when you absolutely. come back, you got to bring him back, too. I thought you would have bought him, too. Well, he's in Atlanta right now. I think he's oh. working on a couple of projects up there. You know, what? Atlanta's, like, becoming a new mecca for, like, filming and everything else. Right. Why are you still here? I've been, I go to Atlanta every now and then. It's like oh, a, good. you get like a $40, $70 flight, you know what I'm right. saying? He, that's just where he's at at the current moment, why right. he couldn't be here. But, right. you know. Have you ever tried to like, um, try out for any Tyler Perry movies or anything like that? No, I haven't jumped on the Tyler Perry wave. Um, when I, I could see you in one of those movies. Yeah? Yeah, you're handsome. I appreciate you. Like, mm -hmm. you know, but I like Tyler Perry, mm -hmm. you know? I definitely want to work with Tyler Perry, but they be also, they be dramatic. You watch some Tyler Perry shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, so either either I'm beating on you, I'm <laughs> cheating on you, kid, or, or anything. It could be anything. Or what's the dude in that one movie, Fallen Grace? Ashtray, bitch. You know what I'm oh, saying? Like yes. yo, wild, wild. Yes, it's never just a simple. Yeah, I don't think. But then who's gonna watch it? We want drama. That's true. Yeah, because we, we, we got we got our, our regular lives mm. that we can just, you know, watch if that was the case. But we'd rather watch people that are actually going through things regular worse than us. Got enough <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But we want to see people who have worse things going on in their lives than us. At it's least, always funny unless it's happening to you. Right. It's always funny when it's not you. I mean, and it's not even funny. It's just <clears> like. At least it's not me. That mentality, Absolutely. like, well, I could be having that happening to me. Like, you know, I, I'd rather take this life, you know. But yeah, I, I think like with Tyler Perry movies, I think that we can't relate to it 
but a lot of other people can. Like they they probably won't open up and say like that they can relate to it, but I, I'm more like. I think the the lane that I definitely want to move into is like on some like action star shit. You know, that's why okay. I've really been like, you know, in the gym working out, doing my thing because I just feel like we need to be in a different light. You uh-huh. know, Super either we're hero. selling crack, cocaine, beating on somebody, infidelity, or somebody don't take right. care of their kids. You know what I'm saying? They're always in between the lines of that. You know, right. we want to jump out of airplanes, we want to blow up shit. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like we Will Smith, we want, we want to. Yeah. How did you feel about that? Let me ask you. How did you feel about the Will Smith slap? Mm-hmm. You took a, you're taking a long time to answer this because I know how I felt. Because Will Smith was my dog, and He's, I ain't gonna say like I don't rock a Will he Smith. He was no your more. dog. Wait, he was your dog? So you don't like Will anymore? I like Will. I rock with Will. It's just that it's hard to put your finger on Will right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking growing up, when Bad Boys first came out, I was probably like six, seven years old. So I'm looking at dude like, yo, he's that guy. It's fucking Mike Lowry. You know what I'm saying? Like, And then you see the shit he dealing with and going through now, and it's like, bro. I thought she was better than this, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, but okay. So I I, I understand. I I think that most men see it from your perspective, right? But as a woman, we see things from two different perspectives. Of course. Some of us have the ability to see it from a man's perspective and a woman's perspective. I think I can see it from both. So from a man's perspective, I can see where he kind of looks like he's being um, taken advantage of. Absolutely. Um, like he looks like he's being, what is it, demasculated? Emasculated. Is emasculated? De- yeah. Emasculated? Is it emasculated or demasculated? Demasculated. Is it demasculated? I think it's, yeah. you well, sure? I, it's definitely deep? Well, I don't know if they use it when another man slaps another man. Yeah, but I think, it's, bit slapped, I think it's emasculated. Emasculated? emasculated? Like no. when you playing with a guy, when a man's manhood, you know yeah. what I'm saying? When you like, oh, yeah. you yeah. shit, you bitch, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking that's about. That's the one, yeah. emasculated. Yeah. Yeah. Tupac was better and you know, all that. Right. So that's he's emasculated. being emasculated. He's right. being, like, he's definitely being tearn, torn down in the media um, to appear that he's weaker, <clears> right, than, than what most men should be. However... We don't know what the hell he put that lady through behind closed doors. Y'all don't, y'all don't know Will. First off, let me just say, a lot of you, a lot of people don't remember when Will was bringing women that he was dating openly in Hollywood to his movie premieres. Do you guys remember that? Do you remember that girl he was talking to? Well, didn't they have an open the, yeah. Wait, 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 Thank wait, you, wait, wait, you, wait, you, wait, wait, wait. Did you that, see? Man. Did you see Jada open, out with her man? They had an open when when you saw Jada out with her man? Cause Jada wasn't out with her man. No, he but, was out kissing and everything on camera. Because she was in the house with the son and their friends. But that didn't come till later. Xbox. That oh. didn't come till later. Cause he was out open years before. I, me personally, I feel like he's done a lot of shit, no, and man, he's at a saying. point where he didn't Everybody want her to leave him. On those females. What do you mean? Specu- yeah, that's spe- I thought he that's speculation. Her. Like, what is there to speculate? He kissed her on the that's camera. A they're kissing. Everybody sees them kissing. So you, your wife exactly just kind of- lets you kiss people on camera? Not and like you're not even filming a movie. You're just at a movie pre. You're at a movie premiere. Your spouse is gonna let you kiss the other actor. You, you there's no kiss? acting going on. What you mean kiss? What the kiss? same kiss he gave her. He yeah, gave her a kiss a on the red it's carpet. A, it's like a, it's like it an actor's kiss. No, it wasn't like, that type of kiss. A, mm, First off, no, no, no husband <laughs> should be kissing another woman on the red carpet. That's, but that's what you foremost. do for a living. No, no but he wasn't working. He wasn't on the clock. Well, he he sure was on a date kiss? with his like girlfriend a, while he was married. Like, uh, you know, like how you get too close. Like, you know, you see how men will try to take man. shit and turn it around and, and try to. You men are so funny, you guys. It's, yeah, it's speculation. It's speculation. Hold on, let me just tell you guys something. What's going on in here? I just looked around the room. I didn't know that there was four men in this room, and it's just <laughs> me today. I'm I'm battling here for my life. Like I feel like I, I'm 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 David fighting Lyons. here. Like <laughs> yeah, like what's going on? Like this is so okay. So I get it. I get what you're saying. But here's my thing, right? From from a woman's perspective, I know men that have done so much wrong that when they finally, when it finally clicks to them, like oh shit, I'm gonna lose this bitch. It's like they they 
It's like something in them is like, I'll do anything to keep her. Mm. And I think he's he's gotten to that point with years and years and years of dissing this girl and insulting her and embarrassing her. You know, she's she was trying to be with this man in a monogamous relationship, and he's still going, you know what I'm saying, doing him. him. Huh? We're talking about Will Smith. Will Smith. No, but no, we, we kind of went over to all men kind of thing, yeah. you feel me? It kind of leaked it's, over. This is I, I just threw that in I, there. I, I wasn't going to get to the point there. We know what Jay I saw it turn last on the podcast, didn't it? It turned on uh, <laughs> the Finn podcast. Well, hold on, hold on. <laughs> and let, me, let me tell you something right now. Though. Okay, okay. This is where men fumble the ball, right. okay? You done did your stuff. She all, you know, whatever. She took it, whatever y'all want to call it. I'm not saying, ladies, just take it or whatever. Mm-hmm. Be strong, fight, and stuff like that. But when the woman tries to flip it, and you know when women, when it's their turn, they're going to make you feel it. They go, oh, but what happened when you did this? Oh, well, I'm going out now. The thing with guys is, with my fellas, you guys have to keep the same energy. Because once a woman senses that weakness, that, oh, I got him, you done lost. She done, she got your, uh, can I say yeah. nuts on here? Yeah, She's got your nuts. Yeah, and yeah. and, and, and once she got them, it's over. So you got to be like, listen, all right, do your thing. I still don't care. And watch how she acts. She gonna be like, well, uh, you know, it messed y'all up. But once y'all know y'all got them, that's when the guy never gets it. That's why she doing what she doing. Let me ask you guys a question. Do, do you remember, what year did you graduate high school? 19. 19 something? 2019. Oh, 2019. Yeah, Damn. Y'all ain't gonna remember Jada Jada then. I graduated in 07. Maybe that'll help you out. Jada you, no, see, he knows. Jada. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay, so <laughs> the reason I ask is because I was going to ask, do you remember Jada from her previous movies? Like, set it off. Of course. Do you, what do you How remember about J- What made Jada Jada? What made Jada Jada? She was a good actress. She was a good actress, but what about, she was always snappy. Like, she always had a comeback. She always had something to say. She couldn't be ruled by anyone. She wasn't submissive. She had No role that she's ever played have I ever felt like she was one of those weak. submissive, weak women or a woman that would just take... That role. Huh? She still doesn't play that role. No, not to say she plays the role, but I'm just saying that I think that's her personality. I think those, <clears throat> that every role that she plays, if you notice... That that's the type of woman she is, like quick witted. That that's the type of person she is. So I think that's what what he gets, you know, off the air as well. You know what I'm saying? So I think she runs him, and I think he likes it. I don't I don't care no, what. I don't you, think he liked that shit. You don't think so? so no, why why no. what do you think he stayed? Now, why do you think now he to stayed? go now to go way back, mm-hmm. okay, just to show my age. One of my favorite roles that she played was in. Low down, dirty shame. Yes, you that was that's me? what like, I was you referring remember to. That one? Yes, she was snappy, but she was sexy, and she she sort of a little a little you know. Cause and now now back to my point. Mm-hmm. When was the only time during that movie you saw Jada like being soft? Is when my dog Shame kept saying, "Low peaches, chill. I ain't I ain't rocking with you. Like you you cool, you all right, but right. you ain't all that. You feel me?" That that she that she was kind of like damn like why not me this yeah, this and that yeah. but then when she was on her stuff she was yeah yeah and all this other yeah. stuff so like you said if that's her personality Will's going the wrong way because think about how Tupac was probably acting you think Tupac was walking around he like you tripping man hey Rosie Perez you trying to go get something to eat <laughs> all right bet holla yeah. at you Jane I'm I'm gone you feel me right. and that's why she always craves that validation and she that man I need that Will is like a it's like he plays Mike Lowry, but I don't think I think he fooled me. I think that's why I'm disappointed, which is why I said it earlier because he ain't giving me that Mike Lowry no more. You so get what, what I'm so, saying? So, okay, so let me ask you a question. Because the original question was, how did you feel about the slap? So, did you like how how did how what was your initial reaction when you saw the slap? I feel like he was doing too much because. Because he was already weak. she don't even give you that energy to make you want to do something like that. Like, you you run around embarrassing me year-round. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the only time you reserve is when you with your mom on Red Table Talk. That's when you want to be classy and all that other stuff. Like, you want to talk with some sense. Yeah. So, she doesn't even, like, secure my dog in the way to make him be like, yo, 
I'm about to go, I got to go handle this. You could have just sat there and she would have probably been cool. Like she was afterwards. Come on, Will, you know you ain't have to do that. You just told me to do it before I went up there. <laughs> I, I just wanted to see you do it. So she seemed like the type that know how to gaslight him and right. get him to do, jump out the window. Mm-hmm. And then when he jumped out the window, she just want to see what he's going to do. Like, look at him. Look like, at his stupid ass. Yeah, look like you seen that one picture or that one meme where Will's getting a massage and he's like, man, a, a man just knows how to make a man feel good. And she just looking at him disgusted. Like, <laughs> you mu- like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's the shit I be talking about, you so, know? You think, okay. It was unnecessary. To answer your question, finally, after 20 minutes of Will Smith, it was <laughs> unnecessary. It was unnecessary? It was unnecessary. He didn't have to do that. It's, it's Chris Rock. You made us look crazy once again. You know what I mean by us? You mm-hmm. made us look crazy once again. You banned from the Oscars. And you probably done set me back, and I didn't even get there yet. Be like, oh, he like, you might slap somebody too, like the Will Smith energy. So I think he just dug us in the hole. I think honestly, like when, whenever I, I hear people say like um, he set us back, I don't think he that slap set us back any more than all the other things that we've done. Um, but True. most importantly, we're not the only race that acts up. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta remember mm-hmm. that. We didn't try to take over the Capitol the other day. I th- okay. Okay. I- so there, there's going to be different. I, I see what you're saying. Like, you know, like he, he, he may have set back as far as the actors go. Like maybe people will look at us differently, you know, if you're a person of color. But I, I feel like the slap was needed. Like, oh, I, here we go. I, That's a hot take. Yeah, she said it was needed. I, I, I was watching. Let me tell you, I saw it live. Mm. So it was, How, was like. It, did it sound off? Like, was it like. I was I was eating a chicken wing, and it was like some some habanero type chicken wing, and I forgot to breathe, like because I like I I I I inhaled the chi- like I inhaled the pepper from the wing when I saw the slap. That's how bad it was, like, and I could not breathe, and I just couldn't believe I was watching this on national TV, and I was like, is everybody else seeing this with me? Like, is this real? And I I just it, I was so happy. Because, one, I don't see shit like that every day. And two, it's two people that I know I'm very familiar with. Chris Rock is a, is a household name. Will Smith is a household name. I'm not saying that it was a good thing that these people slapped each other. But Chris Rock, I've seen over the years, he, he's had it coming. Like, I've seen where he's been hackling Jada. And, he's been, and I get it. Like, you know, I see what you're saying about the energy. And he's not matching energy. But... If you're my friend, we ain't talking about wife. If you my friend, you let's say you homeboy and homeboy. Right. And somebody's over there publicly dissing your homeboy. What are you going to do? Like, if you are you going to say something? Like, are you going to say, bruh, calm down? Like, calm down, calm down. How many years are you going to say calm down before you eventually get up and slap the shit out of them? I feel like it's a time and a place. Yeah, like, if he, if he would have just been like, and you know the look, he could have looked at him like, but this is every award show. Okay, and a- and after this award show. So you mean like he should have took it outside of the like home, like they should have met up. I don't think not, 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 ever met, not met up, but uh-huh. the dude got to go on stage and accept his reward. There's commercials. There's a backstage. You know. That's true. A lot of shit. Ha- Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Let me just put this out there too. Working these um little concerts and stuff. A lot of shit happens backstage. Whatever you see on concert, on the stage, that is not the real show. What The real show is happening behind the scenes. Facts. So, I agree. They definitely could have caught up with him backstage, and, backstage. And, or he could have gave him a, you know what I'm right. saying, up there like this or whatever. And then after we done, you know. Do you think he wanted to humiliate him? Hum- humili- <clears throat> humili- Let me see. Don't laugh. I know you're laughing. Let me see. Because this is a tongue twister. Humiliate. 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 But you're missing the you. Say humiliate. 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 Okay. Do you there think you he wanted to humiliate him? <laughs> he humiliated himself. Anything. Uh huh. You I, think so? I thought it was funny. Look, okay. Maybe, maybe my problem. My problem is this. I watched this movie that Will Smith has. Um. It's called Pursuit of Happiness. Uh, you have you ever seen it before? Of course. You okay? It is like I for I couldn't walk for about eight months, right? Um, so I would sit in my room every single day, and the only thing I wanted to do was walk. But 
while I'm laying in my bed every single day, the only movies that were coming on were like Pursuit of Happiness. I was, something was on BET. It was like Pursuit of Happiness and some other bullshit movies. But I just kept watching it over and over. I didn't have to, but I just needed the motivation, like, cause I like the part in the end where he gets the he finally gets the job, yeah. like, and I cry with him every time his son is in the bathroom and he's like, we gotta stay in here, mm-hmm. like, where do we live, like, you know, and I cry with him when when the mother left. And it's like, she couldn't understand, like, I'm like, are there women out here that are really like this, you know? What? But I, I, but these are things that <laughs> I think I, 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 I feel like, I feel like that's my Will, my version of Will Smith. Like, because he has so many different movies, everyone has a different version of Will Smith that they, they grasp or they hold on to. But that's the one for me, like, it's like he could do no wrong because he helped me through my journey through a stupid movie, you know what I'm saying? But I look at the slap and I'm like, he's been wanting to do that for a very long time. Like, this is not something that just happened today. And I get he could have waited, but have you ever been in the moment? Has someone ever pissed you off to the point where you didn't feel like you could wait another minute? That's how I got the jam, man. Mm-hmm. That's how you got it. So wait a moment. So wait a moment. This is interesting now. Right. Are you a hypocrite? Are you saying that Will Smith? Well, you know what? Uh, let me back up. I'm gonna back up because you were young. You were a you were a kid back then. Thanks for me you up. didn't have you didn't probably have the processing or the same thought process that that a grown man should have, especially a man of his stature. Um, but still, I to this day, me, I reach to the point sometimes where I just want to slap the shit out of someone right there. Like, oh, I don't man. even want to walk off from that moment because they need to feel it right now. You feel like you got, I get what you're saying. You, you feel like you're the one that has to deliver that justice. <clears throat> and I got a long list of people I just want to slap. You know, and it's not right. slap, but you know what I'm just... Just ca- just one time, it's like, bro, you deserve that. You know what right. I'm saying? Like that. But now- you wouldn't do it on national TV in front of millions of people. <clears throat> Nah, I not nah, I mean, well, Will Smith, he got his bag up. You know what I'm saying? I was he's gonna say, bro, he's so like, you he's, you kind of want to be like, you know I, what? I feel a little bruh, niggerly right now. You know what on. I'm saying? Like, he's on a different like pay grade. This. Like, we he the whole conversation is above our pay grade. Like, we Absolutely. we can't really understand the depth of what's really going on because even after he did all of that, and they're like, oh, he's banned and he's this and he's that. You know he's not really he banned. He right? Yeah, he don't care. Like, he yeah, he's banned for like a, a couple years or. Yeah, he's. Listen, like, I don't think he cares. It's like a I year think, or two or something like no, that. Right, I'm saying how much of it was it? Was it an Oscar, right? Yeah, it was an Oscar. Yeah. How much Oscar he got already? Plenty, I'm sure. Is nah. that or was that his first? No. We might have to look that. How many Oscars did she have? Yeah, we gotta look that up. So, so. So I mean, if you did that on the first one, you a wild boy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, yeah, you, know, you, know, you already can't get no Oscar. You get your first Oscar, you like, you know what? I'm slapping me a nigga today. You know what I'm saying? And I'm getting suspended. He has four? I got to see. No, we got to see. We got to look it up. Will Smith has one. So that was his one. That one, his one they took only. that one away. They took, they took it away. away. So he got he back to zero. He back to zero. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we do as a collective whole. We just, you just, you know, because look, they already have a hard time. I don't say they don't want to give it to us, but they already have a hard time giving us, you know, to giving the Oscars out. So when you do something like that, that gives that give them a reason to be like, oh, this is why. Well, this well, is why. What? Why don't we make our own? Like what? Why don't? Why do we have to abide by what you know, their rules and and what they expect of us? And then when they say, well, you know, you guys weren't good enough this year, because half the work that we do, it doesn't get looked at by the Oscars, anyways. Well, I say, number one, we we don't own as much media, true, or as much as distribution. So even your biggest names in the business, they have to get their bag from somebody else with the bigger bag just to get that budget to pull off that movie. Like, that's why you gotta appreciate people like Kevin Hart and these guys Mm -hmm. who come out the gate, get their own production companies, Tyler Perry, Mm -hmm. um, getting their own, you know, filming studios and stuff like that because that's the first step into owning the whole, the whole nine, you know? So once we're able to go and Tyler Perry can be like, here, here's a half a billion dollars to shoot this film or here's your Warner Brothers type movie deals to do your own thing, 
until we start collectively generating funds like that for our own communities, where you you have to keep going, you know, to your main the people with the bag, you know. In seven days, we will seek to unravel this mystery as four couples come together under one roof for one common goal: marriage. I can't wait. I'm really trying to get married. Me too. That's oh, what that's my baby. <laughs> for, right? I'm really just trying to do it right this time, and I really want God to bless this. Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a stockbroker out of New York, and, and I'm Tiffany. How everybody doing? My name is Nathan, and this is. I my... am Tia, and I'm still trying to ask myself the question: Why do I want to marry him? Shanice, baby, please listen. I know I messed up. My name is David. And this is Shanice, and we came on the show because we wanted to get married. We thought that that was the best thing to do, and, you know, despite the little problems, but, you know. And the you know. slight pain here and there. I mean, yeah. we'll work through it, hopefully. Yeah, we'll work through it. What are you begging for, baby? Huh? No, I know how you get. How do I get, Shanice? Huh? How do I get? Hi, everyone. I am the Renee Covington, attorney at law, and this is Robert, my fiance. First of all, I didn't ask to be here. I am not about to go in front of those cameras, in front of those people, and tell them you watch cards for a living. It won't happen. You know, I think I can help you get your girl back. Tia, all that I done been through with you, this is what you do? Tia, yes. you here, so what that make you? I'm here to appease my man. You never have time for anything. Get your hands off of me. You can't just come back and, and say all of, like, all of that. Like, if it's gonna be fine. Okay, I know you're upset. All right, but there's a lot going on right now. So I almost got you up the best thing that has ever happened to me. If that would have happened to us, I swear to God. Me and the network, we own you, man. What do you mean, own me? Nobody owns me. Just give me a chance to fix it. Everything that I'm doing seems to be going downhill. There's no fixing it, Greg. Where do I fit in? I, I feel like an accessory. What are you supposed to do, Tiff? That's my son. You all are ready to leave, you have your bags, but I'm just asking you, give, give me one more chance to make this work. One more chance, one more day, one more hour, one more minute, and I will start to make this right. It's you that showed me the journey. It was you who showed me how to enjoy the more important things in life. And I can't go through that without you. Join us as we witness what happens when love and reality collide. from the anonymous show starring Lee. Tonight we do have Troy Brooks, an actor, on the set with us today. Thank you for stopping by once again. Appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all. And we've just been talking for like the last hour. It's just been flowing very easily. He's a very easy person to look at and talk to. He also has his friend in the studio with us today. He's an what? artist, so I hope he's nice. coming back to check us out and do an interview himself. So. For show. Okay, good. So yes, yeah, so we, we we were just talk, we talked about a whole bunch of stuff, you guys. Um, and I I had my interesting views, and I had my own views, but he did give me some pointers, like some some of his own perspectives. I'm not saying you change my mind, because I'm not gonna change my mind about that slap. I like what I saw. Right, right, right. But you definitely gave me a different insight and made me think about it a little deeper. And you know, like maybe he could have done it behind the scene. Like you didn't have to do it up front. So I'll take that. I'll t that's my takeaway from that. Like thank you for for you know introducing that thought to me. I'm not gonna say that it's a right thought or that I'm gonna you know walk away thinking that you were correct in the situation. But you definitely gave more insight. So thanks. I can appreciate that. We like we don't. People always think that you have to agree or somewhere if you disagree, right. it's a problem. But as long as you could see or hear from my perspective and you understand where I'm coming from, that's all I ask for. You know, or right. anybody asks for is you. Okay, I saw it from your perspective. All right, cool. Right. Whatever. You don't have to necessarily agree or disagree. That's and I, what what sign are you? <laughs> I'm a Cancer. Oh my God. I get that every time. <laughs> what a Cancer. Uh, well, I mean, I get it, but I don't get <laughs> it. Like, I get it, but I don't get it. I mean, they say that cancers are like... I'm not going to say that they say they're narcissistic. Because I, I wouldn't I say narcissistic. Oh my But it's something, because I've identified where it comes from, mm -hmm. because a lot of times you're just a certain way and you realize you're rubbing people the wrong way, 
and it just comes with growing, you know, and maturing. And when you identify where some of those traits may come from, you can be like, you know what, this is why I respond that way, or this is what irks me, or sometimes, right. you know, or whatever. Right. So, and that, you know, if I was, if I still had that in me, I probably would have said, no, I'm not a narcissist or whatever. But because I, I can identify, I know I can be like that sometimes. Right. Wow. So, so but you're working on it. You're actively working on it. Yeah, everybody's a work in progress. I'm not going to say I'm perfect. Now, do I go around just pestering people being a pest? No, but <laughs> it can be some times where I'm just like, yo, like, and you just got to say something. So I've been working on that, you know, because right. I've been, you no, know, I'm not saying it got me into a lot of shit, but, you know, just working on knowing when to speak, when not restraint. to speak. Restraint. I used to, I used to do anger management. Um, it was like state appointed uh, oh, for like. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for like, I went like three years. Um, but yeah, I used to go down to this jail facility in Tallahassee, um, and I used to. They had like killers and stuff in my anger management class, like real killers. People with real anger problems. Yeah, people with real <laughs> anger problems. So they they took us with the little minor anger problems, like I'll curse you off or I'll beat your ass, that type of shit, and put us with people that kill people with two by fours. Oh, so you was on like scare that. straight. No, I, would, I, would, I, I don't know if I was scared. Like, I was scared straight. Like, no, I was scared as shit. No, I'm like talking the, about the show. You ever seen the show? Where they yeah, I saw the, the show. Hey, but we don't put you in here. We get you in here. Man, like, yeah. listen, we sat, I sat right next to, I had a, I can't say buddy, because I'm not buddies with killers. But, you know, he, he definitely, he was like, yo, um, somebody, like, basically stopped too short. Like, they missed the yellow light. Like, you know, they stopped on the yellow light. And he wanted to go through the yellow light. And the fact that they stopped is like they undermined him. And he got out of the car and took a two by four from his trunk and he beat their brains in, in their car, right For there. a yellow light? For the yellow light. So for three years in anger management, like what they were trying to beat into our head is what if he would have taken a couple more seconds to think? What if he would have walked away from the situation? He would have had, like, because he's serving three life sentences, the, 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 like, severity of the situation, he's serving three life sentences, so, it's, like, consecutive, and even after the life sentences, he still has to, like, if he, let's say, lives, he's still gonna have to serve more. You come back alive. Yeah, Yeah, so just in case, but, but just to show you, like, I, I always tell people, like, the reason why I walk away from things now is because I, I did so much anger management, but we we focus so much on if we just take a couple more seconds to think if we just take a couple more minutes to to sit in the situation and observe what's really going on um remove yourself like if if you see something going on you see you know you're getting upset you know you're gonna do something like just remove yourself from the situation altogether like it doesn't make you a that um Mm -hmm. i'm sorry no go ahead go ahead um emotional intelligence right like i and i i and you know to Jump back on the point that you had made about, you know, it taking just a couple of seconds. I was watching, I'm pretty sure I know uh, the million dollars worth of game with Wallow. Yeah. Really. Mm-hmm. And Wallow, you know, he did time. And he was taught, he was saying, he gave us an experience about how when he was in, um, when he was in there, one of the OGs asked him, like, how many minutes did it take you? And he, he couldn't figure it out. He was like, how many minutes did it take for you to land in here? And what he was basically saying was like, how long was your offense? How, look at the time. He should took out his paperwork and was like so you hit this house and then hit this house and you did all this within five minutes and it got you 20 years right so just a five minute decision something so quick just like the yellow light where the guy could right. just waited a few seconds got him three life you know consecutive life life sentences right so just having that thought process which is what i've been working on is you know understanding why you're mad understanding what's was taking that frustration and just identifying that and just chilling out right. and just being like you know what because i've been in those situations where i don't had you know you want to call it road rage or you right. feel like you got that person cut you off so you feel like you got to speed up and show them right but that could cause something catastrophic to where you made a decision and that's just it right so like I, I, a lot of people don't understand like um a lot of times i don't i don't go certain places like i don't go or i don't go certain places with certain people and you know a lot of times we put ourselves in trouble Mm -hmm. like we we know damn well if we go to this place with these 20 people that more than likely you can hear him talking about it oh i should wait to get here boy (laughs) i'm right i can't somebody touch me man it's oh it's up man 
I don't have you. You just know, yeah. like, man, they about to start some shit. You, you know already what I'm know before you get there. You know what I'm saying? You already know. It's just, it's just that group's mentality. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I found myself like, I, I had to distance myself from a lot of stuff, a lot of different people. Um, I know a lot of people, but I had to distance myself from a lot of people because I see that that's that's the emotion that it brings out of me. You know what I'm saying? It brings rage when you're in a group of people who are angry and negative it brings that out of you you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. um and sometimes even if you're with positive people it doesn't necessarily guarantee that you know everything's gonna go right but it 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 just it's easier you know what i'm saying I, i i don't feel like i may be going to jail tonight or you know i may commit a crime tonight um but that's what i feel like a lot of people i me personally i learned in anger management just slow down um take my time a lot of people get angry with me because i take a lot of time I think a lot of time. Like, even today I was late, right? Like, no, you was I was good. like, I was like, the heat came on, and bobbing, you know what I'm saying, with the guy. Yes, it was but, chilling. Yeah, so, but I, because I, I, I just move at my own pace. You know what I'm saying? Like, you move on universal time. Right. I do. I do. And, and, and that's what I found, like, has controlled my anger. It's just moving at my own pace. So, what do you use to control your anger? Um, just like self reflect thinking like five seconds into the future like you know how this person you have to what i what i like to do is you have to think for people because i've been in situations where i've seen people you may you may hurt their demons or they may feel like they gotta act tough around you or just start acting out and you just kind of have to think for them and not give them that reaction because that's what they're looking for you know what i'm saying um you have to just like how they say, stay out the way. But when people are trying to, it's it's up to you to like let somebody crash into you. See so if see if somebody's trying to like you know size you up or trying to right. like you know do some or act out. Let's say show out right. and they want to do it like in your range so they could get some type of reaction. Right. I gotta just walk the other way. Right. Or just be like whatever, and they get and they they get it and they be like oh. He they look the, the, the stupidest. It's like the stupidest when someone leaves you standing. Like, have you? I don't know if you ever like you've ever tried to fight someone and they're like, no, nah, I don't feel like it. And it's like well, this bitch is in something. Like, yeah. Now like, it's like she doesn't want to fight me. What, what am I supposed to do? Like you're looking at the other people. It's like what? It's it's no one to fight. It's like no one to be upset with. It's impossible to be upset with someone who's not giving you the same energy. Who's not matching your energy. They was looking to crash out regardless. It right. just happened to be. Me. That person, that you, and you could decide to let them crash out on you because they could have been ready to, or, or you don't know. Usually, it starts from something that ain't got nothing, nothing to, do with, to you. do with you. They probably could be late on a bill, late to right. work, just got fired. They got some life news that's happening, right. and whichever instance it comes to them, they're just gonna be like, "Oh, right. this is it." And the if you decide to get that, that, try me. Yeah, and that's always me. Yeah. I don't know what. <laughs> it's like I have a, a target on my head, like. So this one was just like the next motherfucker that tried me, and then I walk in. Hey, how's that? That you know, remember I said right. earlier about we want her, we want you because sometimes when people and people see, like take you know intelligence or they take kindness for weakness, right. so they be looking to crash out. And you notice the people that be want to crash out do all that wild shit. They never do the wild shit with nobody else that's wilder than them, right. or just as wild. <laughs> They always look for somebody that's minding their business right. or just chilling, and right. then all of a sudden, coincidentally, I want that person right. right there. I want them. Right. And that's what they look to do it at. You never see crazy versus crazy, because right. they don't end up well. If y'all it, it both really crazy, yeah. one of y'all going to die. Yeah. Y'all can't both be crazy, and then y'all yeah. just walk away and be like, all right, my bad. Nah. Y'all pick and choose. Y'all think y'all know who the right ones is. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I, 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 crazy people don't fuck with crazy people. Exactly. I've noticed that. If like, you're really crazy, you don't want no problems because you right. know how you is. you like, man, not today. I'm just going to go in the house. I'm going to do whatever <laughs> and stuff. I didn't... I done seen stuff where people pick and choose where they'll go off on they, they friends, family members, and then I don't witness, I've witnessed this myself. Like a couple of summers ago, I've witnessed somebody go off on their peoples. Like, oh, you do it over some small shit. Oh, I'm going I'm to spray you, I'm going to do all this, this crazy stuff, whatever. Uh, like a couple days later, some real action happened where somebody's life was in danger, and, you know, I'll just say the person was about to get mugged. You get what I'm saying? And that same person that was on some crazy shit, call the cops. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, call the cops. Like, I thought you was crazy. You right. know what I'm saying? What happened to right. all this crazy stuff or whatever? But you pick and choose you to deliver choose. that energy. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. who to do this. You know how to do to do the shit, right? right? 
So that's you gotta watch out for those type of people. Yeah, they be yeah. thinking they slick. Yeah. So you just have, like you said, just avoid or just take your time. It it involves a little narcissism. Like, oh, okay, yeah, really. It and is. I, I think everyone. You said you have a little narcissism, and I I was just joking before, but I think everyone has a little narcissism in them because everyone naturally has to think about themselves. And and what people don't realize when they say narcissists, they think narcissists are just all for themselves. And I think narcissists just think a little further than other people think. Um, yeah, they care about themselves. Their 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 number one motive is to make sure that they're served. But I think all people should have that sense. Um, I think people don't have enough narcissism like in self-awareness. them. Self awareness. Yeah, and that's why they get played. You know what I'm saying? Because people, you, they get openly played, and mm-hmm. then they, they're upset with everyone around them. But th- it's not a, it's not a, the fact that he's a narcissist. It's the fact that you're an idiot. Yeah. Anybody could have played you. It right. didn't have to be a narcissist. <laughs> right. This is normal shit. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? So, he was up on game, you would have been like, Right. Nah, I whatever. think people are just attaching words to, to shit that's been going on for years. Oh, man. Yeah, it's because I, I could swear to you, 10 years ago, no one was talking about narcissism. Nar- oh, wait, hold on. Narcissist. Gaslighting, gaslighting, um, uh, misogynistic. Oh yeah. Um, it's, it's so many of them. Um, narcissists. Yeah, no, nar- yeah, one. we got narcissists. Um, what else? It, it um, it's a bunch of them, it's and then they get these new words. Oh, um, um, I, I had it right on this. this y'all gonna love this one. It's sort of um, shit, trauma. Mm-hmm. You know, I got trauma I got trauma. Before you just had, <laughs> before you just had a bad day, yeah. or you were just doing this. Now everybody, oh, it's trauma. I just passed trauma. And, Everything and like, is oh. trauma. Yes, the day the the. But I I get I kind of get it because I've been tra- you could be traumatically you know you know impaired while you're on your way to work. Like if you know you could almost have an accident. Somebody could you know. I don't know. It should happen. But, but I wouldn't necessarily say trauma. Because trauma means, like, extensive damage. Like, you like, went to a war or something. Yeah. Like, you got like, shot and you like, no, I got saying, PTSD type shit. Right. You know? Now we're saying trauma is, like, if you, you went to McDonald's and the line was 20 minutes long and you had to wait. And, you know, in your in your car, God forbid, in the AC. <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? It's like, but the, that still feels like a traumatic experience for people who get things in one or two minutes. Another one. Trigger. Trigger. Oh, I'm yeah. triggered, or this is my trigger, and I, I just feel like we have all of this um, information floating around with the internet, right. podcasts, everything else, where people are just picking up on things, and they just want to identify something. Relate. They, they want to relate, and they want to identify yeah. to something. So every year, it's a new, it's a new trend. It's a new right. trend of words. It's Instead just, of just going to an actual psychologist and speaking with someone who's trained. To, to look at our thoughts and help us with our thoughts. We're going to watch all these podcasts with these people who are saying interesting things that they Googled five minutes before the session, session started. Do you, do you know I don't Google anything? I This is crazy, right? I purposely do not, like, they, they always tell me, research, research, research. I never research. That's research. I come in here and I talk to you and I see, you know what I'm saying? I feel you out because I want to have a, a human conversation. I could go research everything about you and, and then we could have, like, you know, a little flow, you know. I don't want that. I want it to be natural. You know what like I'm saying? Like, if you were on a bus stop, like, Forrest Gump. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, what's right. going on? Like, okay, you do this. All right, right. Yeah, whatever. I think people, I think, I think society has gotten so much in the pace of just, like planning everything like these podcasts are people don't even realize they, the podcasts start out original and then they become reality shows mm-hmm. like Charlemagne them they at one point they started out as a radio show and it used to be funny and then it started turning like then we started knowing about their real lives and what they who Charlemagne's raping people out or I'm sorry let me back up let me not Alleg- say, allegedly let me not say <laughs> raping put that alleged in there yes um but yeah, like we start, the, you know, it's just, to me personally, I feel it's like we're looking too much into things. Back in the day when people were on the radio, that's all they did. They were just on the radio. We didn't look for them outside of the radio. We didn't need too much from them. We just needed them to talk to us on the radio. Now you got to have a reality show to match the radio show. And it's just, it's, it's just weird. So I think the internet has taken advantage of exploitation. 
Right. So now, if you're on the internet, if you're a podcast, you have to exploit yourself. Right. To to make it because that's what sells now. Like right. with your your reality TV, like the Love and Hip Hops and everything. I mean, I mean those are great shows, wherever you want to call it. In certain ways, I'd be like, okay, this is damaging. But really, all people are doing for that check is exploiting themselves. Like right. you wouldn't act like that, and and be all crazy unless the camera's on. You save it for cameras, so you're exploiting yourself. Right. You know, for dollars for views, and that goes back to what I was saying earlier about us having our own thing because. Our culture specifically is the only one that's really exploited for profit. You don't really see these other, you know, cultures exploiting themselves or they do it off camera. If you hear about a politician or somebody in that, you know, community that that something has happened, it's because it got way out of line. It was a police report. The cops right. were called. It has Did to be Did you see the, the, the guy that the... the um... What's that huge family? He just went to jail the other day. He was a, a reality show, um, Todd Christie. Like, I think it puts a huge pressure on the reality show people to, to keep making some type of, like, bringing money in, whether it be fraudulent or not, because they have to uphold what they've given us as far as an image. You didn't see Todd Chrisley? He, he has blonde hair. Him and his wife went to jail. It's like all over the news the other day. Like what they, do they do? They, they're a reality show and they have like a huge family and he's like, um, he's like, he's, he's real sassy with his kids. Like he's always cursing his kids out and like getting them in line. Like even though he's white, he acts kind of black. Like, but what you know. did they get? What did they, what did they Oh, they, for? oh man. Tax yeah. evasion, fraud. Money laundering, yeah, Todd Chrisley. Like I, fought, I, I used to watch these people all the time because I love how he deals with his kids. Like I'm like, man, no other is gonna deal with their kids like that. But damn, they, they was they was stealing money. They was getting bans. And the part that behooves me is how long they were getting it. Oh, they, like oh, they, they can do nice it forever. Yeah, let, let our black ass get on TV. They look at us up and me. So how does this bitch afford and have? To live in this house right, right here and right. all this production and you know what I'm saying? Right. Like they, they we, we wouldn't have got that far. Like right. all those people who got PPP loans and all right. like I was looking at something that came in the news like just two days ago and they said that um you know how in the last couple years um a lot of black businesses started and a lot of them started with the LLC, right? Right. So now starting next year, January first, they want you to declare the LLC differently. Like they want you to state everything you've done, every dollar you've made with the LLC, how you used it. So mm. you know what that means. Anytime, one thing I, I, I've learned about the American government, why I don't like taking money from them and I won't, is they have a way of always coming back for their shit. Oh, for sure. Like, they'll loan you something and be like, here, hold this. And you're like, thank you, I could go start my family business and do what I'm going to, bullshit. Okay, because a year from now, when you think that everything's fine and you know, they gave you that money, it was a grant or whatever. Now they want to know what you did with that grant money. Well, I'll tell you specifically, like, what I was speaking on earlier about how, you know, me and Nante and everything that worked to my benefit, is I eventually ended up becoming like a stockbroker and, stock you know, it. and like, um, and like financial stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I would speak to a lot of people that didn't know what I looked like, but they just assumed based off how I talked. And, right. you know, like they say, you can get in the door, you know, based off of how you sound or whatever. So I use I was uh, doing work for this one client and I actually had secured him like a PPP loan, mm -hmm. you know, doing the work for him. He was busy. I was like, I handle this for you, whatever. And um, he he secured quite a bit, mm -hmm. you know. And when I tell you, and I I did the he didn't have to pay it back, mm -hmm. completely forgiven. Right. Like, like it was nothing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm thinking like I, out of everybody who's gotten them in different communities, how many people have either had to. You know, they're coming after everybody and getting back, right. but he got an absurd amount. And I was just like, wow. And they were just yeah. like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. You know, so. A lot I mean, of people had theirs forgiven, but then they they released something else after that. The ERC. Oh, oh, the tax credits. The big, the big money. Yeah, the yeah. PPP was blocked. Yeah, that, yeah, that was, that, that was, was like. That was like the 20, I was like, here, y'all get that. Yeah, y'all yeah. yeah, hold that. I know about but the you ERC. See that ERC now, that's that 100,000. People still, oh, people still, people still collecting off collecting. that ERC. Yeah. Back paid tax credits and be like, oh, I'm about to get this from But guess IRS. what? Remember that LLC thing I was telling you right. about? Okay. So all of these things tie in now. Like I, I was at a conference and basically all these things are going to tie in now. And <clears throat> next year they're going to start asking us questions. 
You're going to start asking more questions about the business, how the business runs, how many people do you have in the business, employees-wise, can you produce documentation for the employees, like, things of that nature. And I, I think that next year is going to be a very interesting year for a lot of businesses, of especially people of um, minority, because we opened, like, four or five LLCs last year. Yeah. We be opening LLCs. We be crazy. Every right? year, it's cheap, <laughs> shit. Every time you get a couple of $29, hey, let me open an LLC. So... Wait. But yeah, but we're gonna have we're gonna we're gonna be answering a lot of questions. But yeah, so I just want to say thank you so much, Troy, for stopping by, taking the time to speak with me. This is the longest actually that I've ever 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 spoken to anybody. Lucky didn't even have to work today. He didn't even have to do that much. Boy's <laughs> yes, <laughs> Lucky, Lucky just been chilling. But yes, we had an excellent. I I really enjoyed your company. Like you said, you're gonna stop by again. Um, definitely want to interview you as well. Um, Absolutely. I like the vibe here. So as soon as I walked in, you know, it, it's, it's definitely a vibe. Love to come back. Uh, make sure y'all go and stream that Love and Reality on Tubi. You know, check me out. We got a lot more projects coming on the way, a lot of more things coming. I appreciate the opportunity y'all having me. This is definitely love. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. And once again, where can they find you on Instagram? Mr. Underscore Brooks, the number